Hey, welcome back, sound people. We're doing the shaded ruins today for the secret guide. See, you don't have to unpetrify that guy. Sublime bone dust. I'm gonna try my level best with this jump. Way. Black Knight Halberd. There you go, Dark Souls One's fans. Him, we do have to unpetrify, but we can pick our moment for that, you know. come out of this direction later on. Hmm. Dark Spirit Forlorn actually invades us here as well. Yeah, it definitely is for Forlorn. Okay, so the first place we're going is down here to meet a new NPC. So I went to Majula before coming here and bought this ring from the cat. From the cat. It allows me to speak with this guy. Human, are we? Well, in a nutshell, basically, he wants us to kill his wife. Or his better half, as he calls her. Well, we could actually summon him in with the boss fight with us if we wanted to. The point is, he gives us a reward Then we could kill him and be greedy. We could be greedy and kill him for the second dragon ring. Where that corpse is just in front of us that has the treasure on it. The area just before it breaks away and we fall down. And the other thing is if we just come back here oh a titanite chunk so I've loaded on a different character just to show you what you would get I was sure it was really a waste of time So you get the Lion Warrior Cape, maybe, as a potential drop. Uh, repair. I am sort of kicking myself a little bit for not remembering that that was the repair spell, actually, because that used to be like the Holy Grail before they patched the durability problem way back in 2015, but that's a story for another day. Anyway, this pit here is actually okay if you fall down it, but we're going to actually come in from a slightly different way, so we're not going to do that right now. Crap. 
free in. <laughs> so anyway, Creighton, they must have moved him, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. It used to be at the Forked Road, but um, as you probably know already, I had more experience with the first version of the game rather than the Scholar of the First Sin Edition. But I have got the Platinum for it though. I just have better memories of the old one, so I get a little bit mixed up sometimes. Anyway, this part here, that part, we will come back to that. We don't want to fall down there right now. Likewise, this lion we actually do want as well, but we're going to come back for that as well after the boss fight. Anyway, you're probably wondering about this piece of loot. Yes, you do need the boss to knock it down for you, but I can't actually remember off the top of my head what it was, but it's something like a flame butterfly. So it was something just like ridiculous. Anyway, it's just a short trip to the next bonfire. Anyway, while we're here, I just want to point out that this area in here, I'm not going to do a secrets guide for that because it's all pretty much straightforward. It's a covenant area, but for me personally, it's just more sensible to actually wait until I'm already in the rat covenant because the enemies don't actually attack you. So I'm going to do the same covenant back to back basically. I'm going to point out our buddy around here as well. Gavlan. Likewise, I'm not going to do a secret guide for this exact little part because there's not really anything to it. It's just a straight line up to the next bonfire. In that Covenant area though, there is an extremely cool spear. You just need to use a Pharaoh's Lockstone, but I might actually do a video just on that spear on its own, because it's such a cool thing.
Anyway, we paid a branch of yore to get this open. And ta-da, we get one straight back. Titanite chunk. Oh, and a bolt stone. Wow. I actually bought a bolt stone from the Covenant after old Dragon Slayer. Anyway, let's go and get our reward first. You've defeated my better half. This is my thanks. Take it. Fragrant branch of your warm up gesture. That is excellent, so it's definitely worth doing for the branch of yore, but if you do hang on and go kill the massive spider boss, uh, Dear Duke's Freja, then you get like a, a scorpion stinger. So it's like a, a rapier type thing. I'm not overly bothered about that, I'm desperate for the second dragon ring, which is basically like the ring of favour and protection. Dark Souls 3 players will be familiar with it anyway. Sorry buddy, but that was totally worth it. Second dragon ring. With that branch of yore, that means we can quickly complete this quest line as well. With Vengarl defeated, get the armour, gloves, boots, superb, but also we can go back to talk to him now. Yeah, why not? And then we get his helmet, lovely. And his items are now in stock as well. So if you wanted the swords or the shield, then you could have that as well. Okay, let's go finish this area once and for all. So, just jump down here. There we go, fan key, that's what we wanted. Now we're ready to go down here. So that's our first meeting with Dark Diver Grandal, the Pilgrims of the Dark Covenant. After three meetings with him, we can then join the Covenant. Anyway, watch this orange stuff, that wrecks your equipment, that's, that's really, really sucks.
That is technically the way out, but we need to get the NPC Onifrex. Dark Souls Remaster players are going to love Onifrex. I'm very careful here. Twinkle and Titanite, lovely. Anyway, we used the fan key. There, on a Frex. And a fragrant branch of yore. So, we've rescued him, go ahead and speak to him. We catch up with him, he's a blacksmith. We catch up with him later in the game. Anyway folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. There was a lot going on for such a small area. The most, the biggest surprise I got was actually that bonus piece of yore from the man scorpion. So I was really, really pleased by that. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough to quite open the lion that has the chest with the repair spell in it. But I'm finally ready to part with my last piece of yore for the next video. We're going to take on the ruined sentinels. We're actually going to start with the boss fight because the area behind me, there's not much to it. We'll just start with the boss fight and there's actually a lot of secrets in the boss room, illusory walls. So you have that to look forward to in the next video. We're gonna go all the way to the Lost Sinner from this bonfire. We're gonna kill everything, basically. So until then, thanks for watching and ciao for now.